For a long time, three friends and I have been planning this trip to the Hook, an awesome spot just outside of Ochin in South Africa, for three or four days of some solid rock climbing. Finally, the day to leave had arrived. We're freaking on our way, dude. The hook, Oton, and I'll freaking stick your ass into it. being formed. I'm going to save this to the other side. We're going to the crag now, um, the initiation wall. We're going to go for a warm up on our first day and we're going to take a tour. After a few months of not climbing, I was quite excited to get back into it. Felt a bit weak, and then um, we started warming up a bit on initiation wall, which is quite nice. And some of our favourite climbs there, we know them so well that they're like much easier than the grade. But they're awesome. There's two 18s and a 19 that we normally will warm up on. I was so stoked to to, to get here and start warming up. And um, yeah, our initiation is so fun. I was quite surprised, I was, I'm was i pretty weak after not climbing for so long, but luckily my memory comes back. Struggled a bit on one of the cruxes, but pulled through luckily. But yeah, much weaker than I thought, slacking, and I have to start picking up my game again.
2.5k during that. I will flip in wet you. <laughs> It's a freaking match, I broke the other thing. I broke the thing. Yeah, that's what I said. You're gonna get matches in there. And then you're like, Ooh, the yeah, that's what, that can't be because the freaking. Now the stuff is not gonna cook. Juice is bay. Yeah, juice is bay. Almost put them in my mouth. Well, like then, scoop some of the juice out and eat it. <laughs> I'll do that. Are you doing drugs or something? <laughs> <laughs> Try not to flip and eat the spoon and then put it back. Yeah, who's spooning it? <laughs> Brandon. Oh! Okay. There's like stuff all over the side of the bowl there. We all did. Is it no? Come on. No, no. let's just check this out. <laughs> no, we wish to No, no, that's just And pool, unsatisfied. <laughs> More pool, unsatisfied. We've been forced to cook with gas on the inside where we're supposed to clean stuff. In that English term. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah. You're freaking germs from the plastic in here, bro. Point my nice like home mark. <laughs> Isn't the wall gonna be wet now? Yeah. The initiation, mm -hmm. initiation wall. The whole mm -hmm. union will probably be a bit clean. Mm -hmm. Wait, Green less wet? Fine. They will be wet though. Yeah. There's like less a wet though. section at the bottom that gets wet. Like the top and the outcrops don't get wet. We shall see. On the second day of being here, um, we woke up to quite heavy rain. Everything was wet. Um, my whole bag was drenched, clothes all wet, so um, quite bleak with life. We decided to just take a drive. Um, we went and got some hot beverages at a little ostrich farm. <laughs> I will love you in the morning if you love me tonight. I will love you in the morning if you love me tonight. I will love you in the morning if you love me tonight. I will love you in the morning if you love me to tonight. On our way back, we noticed that the main crag was kind of dry. Ish, so when we got back we decided to take a walk, go check it out. We took our gear in case and we actually decided to do a bit of a harder warm up a, a route called Goonie Goo Goo 22. Now we haven't climbed within ages so we decided to give it a go. It was completely dry, perfect to climb. I'm never freaking always slipping and like fucking in the middle of 
place for you to hide. Yes, and if you can. And now the carpenter's son says, Let's make a deal. I believe in commerce. No, but I'm still on the phone. I know I could say this, I mean, I mean, I mean, my degree is in the family. Just below the crux, I um, had a bit of trouble finding a foot, a left foot. Eventually, jammed my foot between a, between two pretty big pieces of rock. Um, when I tried to, to clip the first time, I I messed up a bit and I had to put the quick draw in my mouth. So I readjusted a bit and swapped hands and clipped because I had a better hold in my left hand. And then yo, I felt so weak then. I almost bailed, messed up. Yeah, I clipped the rope, rope when I was safe and then I tried to move through the cracks but I felt that I was too weak and um, I had to take a rest. That just uh, it just shows how just shows how um, how weak you get after months of not climbing. You know. But now I know I know for the future that I need to just keep training, even if I'm not climbing. Go for a run, do some pull-ups. Yeah.
try and flip it. Okay. Okay. Back in favor, kid. Yeah, the Lincoln climate first. Josh is crazy. The bird. Yeah, you can do it. You can get his last part. You can climb like. That was so close though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I wonder how far Josh is. We can't even freaking see. <laughs> 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 He's not going to see us. <laughs> 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 what is this one? <laughs> <laughs> this one also does the side. How would you then bounce from the west? I'll do a run. Sorry. Yes, you went like a mother. It was like flipping uphill the whole way. And we found out we can get reception like at the river. Oh, is it? Have we just? Yeah. 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 Finally, dry your clothes. Freaking finally. I'm all bagged. That's just freaking weird. You almost all these socks feel like that. 
Yes. Ja. <lacht> wir gehen auf andere Wege. Oh. Das ist gar keine Erde. Uh, sorting all our stuff out, drying some clothes that got soaked. Uh, we're making bacon and eggs and fried tomatoes for breakfast. Some nice fresh coffee to celebrate the first day of freaking time. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Yeah. It's cooking, look. Yeah. Look at the liquor. Stop making this. A makeshift pun. And liquor like a spirit meat. Fuck. Spiky Yeah. On the fire. <laughs> Today we we're going to the beast. Um, Rapscallion Lacage is the root's name, it's a 24. And yeah, we're gonna see if we can we can slay it. Yeah. Okay, it's our third day camping here in the hook and it's, it was the big day we decided to come climb Rapscally in the Kaj, it's a 24. Yeah, this morning we just spent some time firstly eating a lot, secondly just yeah, getting like quite amped and protein just getting, getting ready and protein loading. Yeah. The start is the crux, it's quite, it's quite hectic, it's quite heavy, pumping. It's more, it's more like a 25 crux, and then the rest of the route is like a solid 22 and a half, maybe 23. Easy, yeah. easy moves, just endurance wears out after the long crux and the start, it just gets you so pumped. I came here feeling pretty confident that my endurance just wasn't up to scratch. I'm bouldering fit but I haven't climbed for like flipping long. Flipping long, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to remember it. Yeah. Last time we climbed was like two months ago and it was on a wall. It doesn't even count. I mean, proper. That's such an easy. Easy and short. We've been climbing for three years now, so not too much experience, but yeah, we're getting there. 
and we live flipping far away from any decent crags. Oh, we have to drive all the way out here to climb One decent and climbs. Hopefully next year we will get fit again and we yeah, are <laughs> I love climbing so much, it's like my passion, it's just so fun, it's so nice to get out away from cities, away from all the nonsense and the yeah. Peaceful as well, because like, even though it's such a hectic sport and like strenuous on the body, like your mind just goes into another place and it's like super, it's like so chill. And it's like not about anything else, just about you in that moment. And you want to come out here. And the nature, the serenity of the surroundings. You go out right, then you take a rest and I try to pass it. You go right and then you go even further right onto that next yeah, beam. Yeah, chimney up. Yeah, but you don't have to clip in there, don't clip in there. Then you go across to the hole and then you clip in. Okay. I don't really know the beta, so just like that. Yeah. And like to the left of that next draw, to the right, yeah. there's like a little hook like that so you can like... Mm -hmm. Like that. To, the, to the left of it? Yeah. Like a little bit up to the left? Yeah. I see it. And then there's two nice feet as well.
start of the climb. Um, my first try on the on the start of the crux. On the second bolt, my my right shoe actually clipped in the big jaw. What are the chances? And then I had to take a fall and I fell backwards and I landed upside down and my my foot came out of the shoe because the shoe stayed in the quick draw and actually there was like quite hectic bruising on the top of my foot and on my heel. And that good got me all like really shooken up and I was just like I was like so not amped for it but luckily we both managed to get over it and push through. Yeah. Quick draw. What is it in Johnson? Like halfway through the climb there's a big hole and it's kind of like a big rest you're supposed to jam your knee in it like your whole foot and like just like sit there but the whole the whole hole is full of bird poo so it's like quite hectic you go, so your shoes get super your shoes get sick, sticky and well slippery not sticky and like wet so you have to either avoid resting in there or chalk it up after you after you're done resting in this. Climbing has taught me to just trust my body more physically, to be calm in situations of, uh, like when you're in a difficult space on the rock, you need to just you do need to just stay calm and think because otherwise you're gonna take a fall, you can get injured like so easily. problem solving yeah. such a mellow thing to do.
started climbing is for one of my birthdays decided to take a bunch of friends to this indoor climbing wall in George and we, we really enjoyed it and we actually the time we were asked to we were actually looking for a job so we just asked them like if we can get a job. <laughs> so I freaking sponsored myself but she we can stay for like a year. And then yeah, they taught us how to be lay, how to lead and everything. They gave us our, our um, certificates and whatever, registered us with the South African Climbing Federation. And then yeah, we just started, we worked there for a few months and then unfortunately they closed down. Um, just not enough business, wrong area. But then luckily we had saved enough money, um, we bought our own gear and then we could come out here and climb. And yeah, then for the rest of our gear we just saved, worked our own stuff made our way yeah and we had the passion to carry on yeah it wasn't like we just like one sort of thing we just knew that this is what we we're gonna do yeah for the rest of our lives yeah quick man even though the gym closed yeah the people who who hired us and who taught us at the gym were just they had such a huge impact on our lives they just like, mm. like they were really awesome people and they taught us basically all we know yeah. Yeah. and get emotional <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So we've had a pretty successful week of camping, I would say. I mean, from the training on the first two days, the bad weather, through all of that, it's just been like a really sick time with friends just to chill. The camping was sick too, not just the climbing. Yeah, the food, good food, yeah, it's been cool. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs>
didn't smell no more. I didn't raise. No. The man. <laughs> Counting our losses, yeah. <laughs> what we could have eaten and what he couldn't have. It's our last day. We're going home, packing up. Kind of sad that we're going, but it's okay. <laughs>
What do you do? Maybe. Brandon, you like it in today. Freaking hot reaction. Yeah. <laughs> 